Welcome to the Joseph Smith Memorial Building. I'm standing on the mezzanine of the former Hotel Utah. Joseph Smith, while living in Nauvoo, received a revelation from the Lord instructing him to build a house where strangers could come and dwell and contemplate the word of the Lord. In 1911, the LDS Church built this five-star hotel in keeping with that revelation. President Gordon B. Hinckley proposed the hotel be renovated in 1987 for church purposes. The community was concerned and some voiced harsh words over the decision. But when the renovation was complete in 1993, the results were impressive and pleasing to virtually all. Public access was enhanced. Structural stability was improved. The naming of the renovated structure came about in an unusual way. On May 5, 1993, President Gordon B. Hinckley had been reflecting in the night on the new name of the structure. After trying unsuccessfully to go back to sleep, he finally got up and stared out the window at the historic block that housed the old hotel, the church administration and office buildings, and the lion and beehive houses. For a few moments, his mind raced back and forth between past and present. He had spent a lot of his life on that block, beginning at the Deseret Gym as a boy and continuing as a teenager at LDS High School, where the campus had included both a Young building and a Smith building, one named for Brigham Young, the other for Joseph F. Smith. Then he had a powerful and clear impression. There were many monuments to Brigham Young in downtown Salt Lake City, but none to the prophet Joseph Smith, except a statue within the walls of Temple Square. The Hotel Utah, which had been exquisitely restored and would not only serve various church functions but also provide the public with many reasons to visit its precincts, should be named the Joseph Smith Memorial Building. This 10-story, 468,000 square foot building houses the 507-seat Legacy Theater, the Family Search Center, two rooftop restaurants, and a chapel, among other special event facilities. The Family Search Center contains 200 computers where assistants can show how to trace family trees. This helpful training area assists patrons who wish to start computer research on their ancestors. The spectacular view from the 10th floor offers a unique view of both Temple Square and the entire Salt Lake Valley. The Hotel Utah opened for business on June 9, 1911 as the finest hotel west of the Mississippi River. Its underground parking facility, still in use, was the first of its kind in the nation. Many U.S. presidents and other world dignitaries have stayed here. Several presidents of the church lived in a private apartment on the top floor as well. For more information on Hallowed Ground Sacred Journeys, please visit virtualtours.byu.edu.